So for the first character in this league, I have been playing Death Only Dead and I was focusing my damage on Ignites. And you know what? Ignites are still pretty bad. If you never played Ignite build before damage over time nerfs, you may still want to try this build. Because Death Only Dead is probably the best skill for Ignites at the moment. And if you don't care about Ignites and want a properly strong build, I got another version. And in this video I'm gonna talk about my build with Ignites and without Ignites. Right from the start, I did try other corp skills. Cremation, Volatile Dead and Detonate Dead. And all of them are really strong and most likely follow the same passive skill tree. However, if you're not going for Ignite build, then Elementalist Ascendancy class is probably not the best option. Also, this is non-crit version, but it still does a truckload of damage. I did manage to do Elder in tier 6 map. Oh, by the way, the clips you are seeing are from my stream, so the quality is not the best. I'm gonna talk about both build versions at the same time because it doesn't really change all that much. The only item that I bought for Ignite build was Nagamo Sign Ring, but you absolutely do not need it for non-Ignite build. For the most part, I have been using 5 link armor and I only bought blank 6 link armor before fighting the Eradicator, which is Lightning Version Guardian. So the build is pretty cheap and Ignites always started fading away once I started mapping in yellow tier maps. Also, something changed in 3.1 and Ignites now completely destroy your FPS. And since I got dynamic resolution on, instead of dropping FPS, it now destroys your game resolution. And the game becomes just basically Minecraft. So yeah, if you got weaker PC, don't do Ignites. Now let's talk about skills. For Detonated Dead, I find it best to use just for single hits. No spell echo, no spell cascade. For Ignite version, Detony Dead was linked with Chance to Ignite, Unbound Ailments, Deadly Ailments, Burning Damage and Swift Affliction. But for leveling on a 5 link and before you get Elemental Proliferation from your Ascendancy class, you can link Detony Dead with Chance to Ignite, Elemental Proliferation, Burning Damage and Efficacy. Yes, I was using Efficacy because your Ignites are not that strong yet and you still want initial damage hits. And Efficacy increases your initial hit damage and damage over time from Ignites. For non-Ignite version, Detonate Dead linked with Faster Casting, Control Destruction, Elemental Focus, Immolate and Fire Penetration. If you only got 5 link, drop Immolate. Now before you scream, what, Elemental Focus and Immolate? I am also using Cremation which is linked to Chance to Ignite, Control Destruction and GMP. Mostly I am using this against bosses and tougher enemies. Next, Desecrate is linked with Spell Cascade, Faster Casting and low level Arcane Surge. In my case I have level 6 Arcane Surge. Without Faster Casting and Arcane Surge it may feel a bit clunky to use. Every time you cast Desecrate you also activate Arcane Surge buff which increases your spell damage and regenerates mana. Oh and also gives cast speed. Next, I am using Orb of Storms, Course on Hit and Flammability. As always, Orb of Storms is mostly used to trigger Elemental Overload. Also, I am using Clarity, Arctic Armor and Body Swap for movement ability. And I actually like Body Swap, but I don't use it very often, so if you want to use our movement ability, just use something else. My Flame Golem is linked with Minion Life and Spell Echo. Since I can summon two golems, I am using Spell Echo just for quality of life improvement. And because I'm Elementalist and they are immune to elemental damage, they rarely die. Now let's talk about items. As I said, you are not required to use any special items. But Doriana's Catalyst would be really useful, but it is a bit expensive, especially early on. So for normal rare items just focus on getting a lot of life, resistances, spell damage, fire damage and added elemental damage to spells. As for Shaper or Elder items, well you can do a bunch of cool stuff. But personally I don't have anything cool, so I was just using whatever I got. Remember this is my first build in this league, so I don't have very good items and it will take a while to get good Shaper or Elder items. Now for my armor I did use Essence and was lucky enough to get this pretty decent roll. This 8% chance to avoid lightning damage when hit combined with Pantheon power, which also has a 10% chance to avoid lightning damage when hit makes it a really strong mechanic against Lightning Guardian. So against bosses I would just use Desecrate, Cast Free, Cremation, Drop Orb of Storms and start casting Tetony Dead. And remember that I did Guardians and Elder with Ignite version of this build. And Ignite version is weaker. Now for the passive skill tree. At first I did Ignite version. And that's basically the only reason why I took Elementalist Ascendancy class. For non-Ignite version I think Berserker would be pretty decent. Or Inquisitor if you are doing a crit version. I will add the links in video description to my passive skill tree for both Ignite and non-Ignite version. 
and the difference between them is like 8 points so it's really easy to refund it well you can't refund your elementalist into inquisitor or berserker so pick the right class also you may say that the passive skill tree could be more optimized but i chose to take a longer path just to get more strength also uh, as for jewels important thing to understand if you don't have a good life rolls on your gears then try to get abyssal jewels with flat life otherwise get normal jewels with increased maximum life and really this build is just meant to be cheap easy simple good for league start nothing too fancy or nothing too crazy not like my next build which may be the worst idea that i ever had but i don't want to talk about my next build yet because it may be just too horrible to <laughs> to even talk about it however i will play it on stream I may also continue playing this build because I really like it and it's fun chasing Elder. So if you got any questions about this build feel free to ask in the comments below or jump on my stream. I am trying to stream every day and my stream starts at about 11 am London time zone, sometimes a bit later. And I do stream for about 5 to 7 hours so you got plenty of time to catch me live. And that's it for now, thank you for watching and see you soon.